Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
Well, welcome. We're live here on WWSR and West Washington live stream for tonight's West Washington football contest as the Senators have traveled down I-65 and uh, into the friendly confines of Parksville, Indiana here tonight. Uh, joining us here tonight, of course, once again, myself, Brad Mills, and we've got the professor in the house tonight, Craig Akers, back with us on the live stream. So it's always great to see him here and uh, just looking forward to another great football game here. Had a good one last week, a little tighter than what we liked, but we knew that was going to be a good game, and uh, it touted it, it was everything it was touted to be as uh, the Senators got the win over county rival Eastern Musketeers down at Eastern. So back on the road again this week, and uh, Coach Mills, I you know I look for the kids to come out here tonight ready to play. I think it's a it's a great chance for the centers to come off and uh, after a big county win to come here on the road uh, against a very young team that uh, we found out pregame did graduated every single point that they scored last year on the varsity level. That is a stat that is just mind blowing to me. So it's a very young team. You look out there, definitely undersized compared to the Eastern team we played last week. Um, I know that. This crew we have with ours, our boys, they're going to be focused. They're going to do th what they need to do. They don't every, – every, every game to them is O-O. You know, they can look at stats. They can look at highlights. But you got to go out and you got to win that game. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, one thing, one, one bright spot, though, you know, for Clarksville, I remember coming down here last year for the JV game, and these young kids that are playing varsity now uh, played our JV pretty tight. Uh, through that contest, I actually ended up winning the JV game against us. It, it was a back and forth game, and uh, I think they got us by a touchdown there late. But uh, you know, they've got some kids, some some youth, uh, you know, kids that were were sophomores last or freshmen last year, sophomores this year that'll be playing a lot. They've got a freshman quarterback that they start that's uh, that's pretty good. You know, they took it on the chin last week to Scottsburg uh, uh, on that that opening night but uh you That's know Clarksville's always got some athletic kids and you know they're going to come out here and they're going to they, they don't have anything to lose so they just play free play loose and you know you never know what's going to happen and that is a big 3a school for the smallest yes. the smallest former member of the mid-southern conference they're now independents but you know that's something that is key because their enrollment uh, compared to that of like you know scottsburg we look at in scottsburg a young a young still a young program there but they have they've made leaps and bounds of you know getting kids out there so the the number sheer numbers that if you saw the highlights there's a lot of highlights i watched from that game and the scottsburg sidelines had twice as many players as them. They were able to really kind of uh, beat them uh, on the little things. There were so many little things you look at, and that's what I think there was like four miscues on special yeah. teams. I know you watch a little more tape than I do. I know there was four punts that were that were miscued. There was some turnovers. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. and a young quarterback, you bring that up. There he was is. one time he went to hand the ball off, and there was nobody, nobody there. Nobody there. Yeah, we saw that with Eastern <laughs> with, last with week. A, with a senior quarterback. Yeah, and so sometimes that happens, and sometimes it's not the quarterback's fault either. You know, the back may go the wrong way. Play may have got mixed up in the huddle. Kids get the wrong signal. But, you know, I think that's one thing that's key for our team. Our kids always seem to be pretty focused. We didn't have a whole lot of miscues last week. Everything went pretty well. We didn't have a whole lot of penalties. And, you know, I think the keys, as you mentioned, the keys to the game, Eddie Gilstrap Motors' keys to the game here tonight for West Washington. And I think there again, the big thing is you don't want to come down here. That was a tough game last week. You don't want to have a, you know, coming, taking on an opponent that, that, that got beat pretty badly last week. You don't want to take them too lightly. And, you know, control the controllables. I know Coach Lowry says that a lot. You got to take care of what you do and not worry about what they're going to do. And I think as long as our kids can do that, stay focused, it, it should be a good game for us. And, and I look for us to – you know, get the win here tonight, but you just never know, you know. I mean, things can happen. It's high school Pro football. Probably one of the biggest factors this week was not the team on the other side of the field. And I don't want to take anything against Clarksville because in the news every day, it's been the heat. Oh, yeah. We have this epic heat that's been going through. So when we hear our interview with, with uh, Coach Lowry here in a bit, like we had this, we had a conversation, him and I did about like Tuesday, and I was like, well, what's the plan this week? He's like, we're going to have to get out a little bit. We yeah. have to. He said, there's no other choice we have but to get out, even though it's hot. It's going to be miserable, he said. 
said, we're going to get out there. The JV come out, and they play a, a very hot game. I know your son played in that game. Yes. It was a hot one, but nobody really, you know, the kids type no. of left water breaks and stuff. And that's what we're seeing here. We got some clouds. We'll take them. And uh, the temperature is going to drop a little bit. You know, it's still going to be steamy. You can swim through the, the air out there. So that's something that the, the, the center is going to be ready to go. Um, Bubba, something I'm really excited about tonight is, and this is with a game like this, we're going to see maybe some guys that we didn't see last week kind of step up. Oh, yeah. You know, you see this this bag. I, wanna, I don't want to call it a bag of tricks, but Ken Chase is a magician out there sometimes with how he gets the ball to different guys. You know, we had some great change of pace backs out there last week, some guys that are going to come up. So when somebody keys in on you, somebody else is going to be open. Yeah, he, he done a great job last uh, week running the offense. And, uh, you know, in our defense, really, I you know, I felt like coming into the season, the defense was a little bit something that I was concerned with. But, you know, when you got Gibby over there, <laughs> you know he's going to have a great game plan and he's going to come into it and have his kids ready to play. The only negative that I could throw out there, and I never like to bring things up that are negative, but just from that perspective was the fact that I thought at times our defense wasn't ready to go when the ball yeah. got set. And, you know, that's something that I think if teams watch film mm -hmm. down the road, you know, you go to a no huddle mm -hmm. or something like that because we're trying to call our defense from the sideline and the kids just weren't ready at times. But, you know, I think that's something I know he'll work on. And, you know, first game, kids are still learning signals. They're trying to figure out exactly what the coaching staff wants them to do. And, you know, I think that's something in time that's naturally going to get better. And these kids are smart kids, good kids. They practice hard, just like you talked about, got outside this week. Talked about the JV. I was very impressed with them in their first outing. Had a little bit of a slow start, but, man, once they got to rolling, they put it on Scottsburg's JV 36 to nothing and uh, just looked really good. So our young kids, you know, they're coming along as well. I think you'll see a lot of them even possibly get into the game here this evening depending on how the score goes. And, you know, that's just great for down the road because you got to have that next man up mentality if somebody's not – doing their job or having a bad night or injuries. And we talked about that before the game. We've seen down there our, our, one of our senior linemen, Kate uh, Clooney, Kate down Clooney there. is out uh, probably for the rest of the year with a knee injury. So, you know, next guy up, you, you got to have guys step up. And I hope, I hope, wish the best to Caden. I hope he can recover uh, well with that uh, injury. But, you know, there again, I, I think this team will be ready to play here tonight and they'll come out try to get to 2-0, and oh, and then we'll uh, go back on the road next week. <laughs> <laughs> road dogs is the key. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, one of the Eddie Gilstrap keys to success tonight, I'm going to say definitely here on the Jamie Sullivan uh, – uh, Raymond James pregame show. Make sure I get all those. Yeah, plugged in. you're getting them Thank in there. You're trying Good job. Uh, definitely is going to be conditioning, and that's what you're going to see, oh, yeah. and that's what you look at. Um, what you did. That was something that I did notice in that game for uh, Clarksville last week. They were gassed on a lot of plays. But if you're yes. running 80 yards on a play trying to catch somebody, yeah. and your defense is botching, you know your your offense is botching snaps and putting your defense in bad spots, you're going to be tired, Bubba. And that that's something we did a great job. I don't think we had a bad field position. Um, not very – not not one that I can remember. And, you know, I think you said it best earlier, and, and this has always been my thought. I never have understood, and I get it. It was hot this week. You don't want to put your kids in any danger. Yeah. But you expect them to play on Friday night in it. <laughs> How do you expect them to play on Friday night when they can't practice during the week? So yeah. a lot of places elected to stay inside or call off practices, but – I think it was good, and, and I know our staff, they didn't get our kids out there and just run 40s. You no. know, they were out there. They had their helmets off. They were walking through things and doing different things. But you've got to get acclimated to the heat to play in the heat. And I think that's a, a great thing for, for our staff has done a great job with that. And they're very aware of what's going on. They watch what's going on with these kids. And, you know, kudos to them. That They'll have them ready to go here tonight. And as we go to this uh, interview with Coach Lauer, you're going to hear on there how he talks about how important those that game day preparation is. And he, he goes into it in great detail about Thursdays. Thursday is the most important day. A lot of it people, really is. It, it is. As a coach, I know you've coached it before, it's it's stressful because, guys, we've got to get this right so that on Friday nights that we got it. For me, it was, in junior high, it was always Wednesday right. was our day, and then Thursday was our game. We had to get those things right, and I always hated when kids did and take it seriously. Probably got more mad and yelled more on that day than oh, anybody yeah. because you have to. It's so, the toughest day for a coach, no doubt. <laughs> it is. And so we're going to swing to that interview here real co uh, quick with Coach Lowry. I apologize. We weren't able to get uh, um, with Coach uh, Hensley 
Is that right? Hensel. 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 Yeah. I didn't get to talk to him. He's a first year teacher, first, first year, year coach. guy. He's probably He's a little probably overwhelmed. A little overwhelmed. <laughs> so I apologize, but we always try to reach out to him. So we're going to go right now to Coach Lowry. Normally not week one. Uh, actually, it's never perfect, uh, but you never quite know what you're going to step into week one. Uh, but I'm just super happy with the intangibles and how those showed up at week one. It's it's uh, you sleep a little bit easier when you know uh, your team's going to show up. You know they're going to prepare well. You know they're going to play with great confidence and character. And uh, you just you know uh, those intangibles are special. And uh, that's that's how we feel about this football team, and and it's exciting because we know the football is going to get better. And uh, not that we played poorly by any means uh, Friday. Uh, we made about a lot of great plays, uh, but more importantly, we made a lot of great plays at the right time. Uh, everything seemed to show up right when exactly it needed to, and uh, I think that just speaks volumes for the character of our kids. I bring up the. Right time was definitely, you know, you look right there at the end of the first half, a big touchdown pass that Ken Chase stayed in the pocket and was able to, I don't know how he fit that ball. I don't know what it looked like on tape, but uh, somehow Jackson Cameron caught that ball. It looked like it went through a window. And uh, then, you know, starting the second half with a great special teams play setting you up well. And then as you guys started fighting back there, you know, it, I, I, I say it was a Rocky Apollo kind of battle, you know, punch, punch, punch. Mo was the momentum was going back and forth, back and forth with that. Um, is there a time that, you know, you during those games like that, do you pull them aside? Do you take timeouts during those times just to kind of, hey, guys, everybody just calm down? Or was there anything like that you had to do Friday, Friday, last Friday night? Um, you know, so early in the season, you try to conserve your timeouts a lot for uh, – Conditioning. Um, if your if your team's on the field a long time, you want an extra break. Um, occasionally, what you're talking about of just taking a moment to settle down. Uh, those are all things early in the season that you try to conserve your timeouts for. Um, you know, some of the things you're talking about. It's interesting. You know, you brought up the two minute game at the end of half. Uh, you brought up a special teams play. Uh, it's what you explained as our Thursday practice. Uh, our Thursday practice, we go over a lot of last-minute walkthroughs on offense and defense. Uh, then we get really primarily into special teams, and then we end with what we call situ situational football and uh, putting in different case scenarios and where we actually uh, execute our two-minute offense. Uh, we execute having to get a stop on defense at the end of the game. Uh, we work on four minute drill where we have the lead and we have to get a first down. Uh, so interestingly, a lot of those things showed up in week one. And, um, you know, you always, every year you evaluate your, your, your practice purpose. Um, you know, we don't like to do things just to do them. Mm -hmm. We like to practice with a purpose and, uh, you know, a lot of those things showed up Friday night and, uh, super proud of how our kids handled that. And it was exciting to see that, you know, as we turn the page here to week two, um, going, uh, you know, the topic of the week has been weather, unfortunately, you know, we're dealing with some hot weather and uh, hot weather's existed since the days football began. So we'll, I know uh, I liked your philosophy of uh, we got to get out in a bit. We talked about it. Um, can you let everybody know about like some adjustments that you've had to make for, for that this week? Because, you know, everybody kind of has and pivoting and what you guys have been doing. So uh, I'll admit we're pretty uh, – we're creatures of habit. We like uh, we like <laughs> to keep our routines. Um, you said last week that you didn't you, – you had to learn to get away from these routines. <laughs> and I, I wanted to point out something because, you know, Coach Lowry said there, and I, I thought to myself, there's a reason Coach Lowry's gotten away from these routines. It's called children. <laughs> and I'm willing to bet that's what it is. is yeah. Am I correct? I, I, uh, so that's what he's got there. Sorry, Coach. Yeah, we, you know, last week we were talking more about superstitions <laughs> and things like that and – those can drive you crazy if you let them get to you. Your right kids do help with that a lot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as far as like practice routines, we like to keep things as normal as possible. Um, this week we have gotten out in it. 
the big the big difference is, is we've shortened segments down. We've taken extra water breaks. We've been finishing anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes early as far as end time. You know, it's a fine line. You, you want to get out. You want to get acclimated. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want to uh, use up some valuable electrolytes and get kids uh, running on empty by Friday night. We, we eat lunch with them. We, we don't see them putting away a lot of fluids for us, unfortunately, <laughs> folks. Uh, we try to get the Gatorades and waters in them during lunch here so that can do that. Um, Coach, we, we look at the Clarksville. It's a team in a rebuilding mode. Um, you know, they um, had rebuilt up to last year and uh, had a really great group of seniors. We had a great classic battle there. It was a great win that kind of defined our season there last year. Now we turn around, and they're kind of in a rebuilding phase. They tuck it on the chin first week against a good Scottsburg team there, a veteran Scottsburg team, if I'm correct. And so um, – what what do you expect out of them? Do you expect them to make some good adjustments here, especially after a week? And, you know, there was little things you talked about, how everything they planned for went right for us. Kind of it looks like some things they planned for went wrong for them last week. Yeah, you know, um, generally your your biggest improvement on a football team is between week one and week two. Um, so some of the things that um, they fell victim to last week, uh, especially when you start talking about some of the uh, – special teams plays that they were in the kind of on the short end of the stick when they played Scottsburg. Uh, we, we completely expect them to have all those things fixed and, and ready to go. And, uh, our mentality tries to, we, we try to stay pretty even keel, uh, throughout the year. We, we stress a couple things to our kids. One, um, respect all fear none. Um, that's something we talk about a lot. You know, we're going to respect every opponent every week offers a new challenge. Uh, Clarksville has some fine football players, uh, some great athletes. Uh, if we don't take care of business and do things the way we're supposed to, those those kids can give us fits. Uh, they run a uh, double tight uh, uh, straight T backfield, uh, kind of different. You don't see it every day. There's certain things that uh, you have to prepare for to be ready to take that on. Um, some exceptional team speed. Uh, we're going to have to take great pursuit angles. We're going to have to tackle well. So, yeah, you know, uh, we try to stay in that respect all, fear none. Uh, we also preach that um, every victory is earned. And you start earning that victory on Monday. And uh, everything you do between Monday uh, to the kickoff of that game on Friday is going to determine the outcome of that game that week. And we just really try to uh, to dial into that as tight as possible um, to try to control all the controllables we possibly can through the prep week to kickoff. You get into kickoff, you go play. We're not overthinking. We're reacting. We're playing. Uh, we're in each other's court. Uh, it's all about confidence. It's all about adjustments. It's all about clear communication. And then hopefully at the end of the night, you get the W. And when you get the W, um, we believe in celebrating the W. Uh, we're going to celebrate each other's mm -hmm. success. We're going to get excited because, as I said, every victory is earned. Uh, there's, there's nothing given to you. You have to go take everything you got. There is no such thing as a routine mm -hmm. win. And after we celebrate with one another, we're going to give the kids the weekend off. Mm -hmm. We don't meet on Saturdays. We don't meet on the weekends. Uh, we want them to enjoy the hard work they put in. And we realize a lot of times on Fridays, right then and there, some mistakes that were made. Uh, our philosophy is those mistakes are still going to be there on Monday. And, and that's when we're going to go back to work. You know, you you speak of that for the kids, but I I know that your job doesn't stop there. Uh, can you uh, just for our audience and stuff? What time do you think you usually you know after a win or a loss? Um, what time do you finally get your put your head down on a pillow? Probably. Well, generally uh, the coaching staff we're going to get together after the game. We're going to watch the film at least once. We're going to have some some uh, casual discussions. Uh, some chicken wings, hopefully, in them there. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. casual discussions. You know, nothing like we're breaking down the film heavy, but we are going to mm -hmm. watch the film. We are going to start seeing things. Uh, I will go home after that, and I find that I'm still pretty wound <laughs> tight. I generally will lay in bed and watch the game on my phone one more time. <laughs> um, generally, that's enough to fall asleep. Uh, wake up the next day. Uh, for most of our staff, the next day is committed to youth football. Um, 
you know, those games generally start at 9 o'clock. Uh, the last game normally starts around 6 o'clock. So we're going to go uh, commit our time to the future of our program. Uh, meanwhile, there's a portion of our, our coaching staff that's starting to break down the film of the opponent, of ourselves, evaluating ourselves a little deeper, our opponent. Uh, we kind of divide and conquer on Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, then we meet Sunday at 1 o'clock. That meeting generally lasts till 5, sometimes 7, 7.30 uh, to put the plan together. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. All right, back here live at Clarksville High School as we're just a few minutes away here from the opening kickoff. Still about 320 left on the pregame clock down here as we heard a little bit of that interview with Coach Lowry and uh, Got the national anthem done. The Senators now returning to the field as we're still awaiting Clarksville as they start to come out now as well. So just a few minutes away from the start of this one. And uh, once again, it seems like the cloud cover <laughs> kind of helped the heat a little bit. It's still sticky out there. You can almost cut it with a knife. It's that sticky. But, uh, you know, it, it should be a, a great game here tonight. Push the time start back to – 8 o'clock instead of the normal 7 p.m. But, uh, you know, hopefully that's the only time this year we have to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking forward to uh, any more heat. Uh, I'd like it to be a little more football-like. But uh, Clarksville comes out here. They're fired up and ready to go. So senators make their way to the sideline as well. Officials are set. So we're just a few minutes away from the – uh, coin toss and we'll find out how this thing's going to get underway here tonight. It's definitely going to be a, a quick start either way you see it. I think Bubba you're going to see a lot of speed on Clarksville's team uh, versus uh, the centers that are going to be um, going chomping at the bit there to get this um, kickoff going. They've been they've been chomping at the bit since last Friday night <laughs> ended probably. You know uh, Coach Lowry brought that up about how you enjoy that and then you move on to the next one which is a uh, it's a great feeling to be able to do and uh, as as we get going here tonight, um, one guy I am going to point out we have a lot, you know, a lot of a kicker has been really been helpful for this this year, you know, and uh, Gavin Hunt um, being able to come in and kind of play some role for us, kicking extra points, and uh, I know he was on some kickoff duties too. Really, uh, kind of gave us a little bit more field position there. That's something that we've been really lacking the past couple of years. So right, absolutely, and the kicking game is huge. So we talked about it down at Eastern last week about. You know, the extra points especially, uh, you know, a lot of years, you know, we were forced to go for two and 
you know, sometimes if you don't get those, they can come up huge. And it almost bit us last weekend, you know, if, if Eastern would have kept that drive late in the game going there and they threw that fourth down pass and kid caught it, but it was out of bounds. So it looks like Clarksville will receive here tonight to start this one as the Senators will kick off. But uh, anyway, back to that good point. It's great to have – somebody that can come in and kick those PATs because that can make a huge difference in a tight game. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're not uh, that well, close where we have to have it, but it is good to get. Well, we brought that up because if you watched, if you were able to uh, – a lot of highlights from the clarksville Scottsburg game we brought up, a lot of special teams miscues, a lot. And that's something that we saw that was kind of a – it was kind of a pain for them because if you're miscues on special teams, it's going to be – it's pulverizing to you. And that's what we're going to see here. They're going to bring out a lot of guys ready to run. We're going to have to uh, – Hit our, hit our blocks, but really that first two levels is where we want to get through here defensively on this kickoff and then get to those guys. Yeah, as we get ready to set for the kickoff here, as uh, Gavin Hunt, you mentioned, will come out to do the kicking duties. Clarksville is going to drop three guys back there deep. Uh, number five, Josh Hall. Looked like uh, 22, Brody Yates, and then uh, I didn't catch the other one back there real deep. But anyway, we'll uh, – That is the quarterback, number okay. 13. I thought it might be 13, yeah. Christian Lee, the freshman, that will start for them at quarterback. So, we're ready to get this thing underway as the clock will wind here with the kick, and Hunt's kick is going to be a deep one. It'll be eh, – it's going to roll <laughs> out of bounds down here at about the uh, 20 – uh, well, actually about the 16-yard uh, line. So, they'll bring it out and they'll start first and 10, Clarksville will, from their own 35-yard line. Not a bad kick there. Just didn't uh, get enough uh, backspin on it to keep it in bounds there. Yeah, so we'll see Clarksville's offense here first. And I know, like we said last week, they had a little little trouble. They're, they're pretty young. They do have some senior linemen up front uh, uh, and some kids there as a center. Both guards are both seniors. Uh, a couple of, uh, well, a freshman at the right tackle, junior at the left tackle. So, uh, what are we doing here now? And lightning. I we have a lightning delay. Uh, I think so, yeah. So, we have a lightning. lightning. So, just like so that. Didn't we get a playoff, got the kickoff, kickoff in. So, clock hasn't even started yet. So, they're going to send them back to the locker rooms after a little clap of lightning there. It looks yeah. pretty clear back yeah. there uh, to the uh, – what would that be, the West, I guess. But uh, I'm going to try to pull up the Doppler as we're setting here. You know, we were following a lot of uh, people, and it's the pop-up storms. You know, when the weather is so thick like it is now, you know, we talk about it, there's going to be some wet stuff fall from the sky. So what do you do during a rain delay here in a high school football game? Well, we actually got something here in a little bit. We might show some highlights from last year's game. Uh, I'm going to let uh, the professor himself, Mr. Akers, do that. I'm going to try to just give everybody a quick little update. Looking at it, I'm just going to look at the Doppler there. You can, If you're listening on the radio, you can pull this up on your own phone, but uh, <laughs> you'll see that there's, uh, there's a couple bands. Thankfully, where Eastern Kentucky is getting slammed right now, um, where they had highs of 116 degrees kind of around here, it's going to do that. So people are going to take caution. We'd much rather do this now than – um, something happened. Yeah, yeah, well, I was hoping that wouldn't happen to back things up any even further than what they already were with the hour delay. But if it's going to happen, I would rather it happen now than, you know, halfway through the game or something. So, but nobody works on Saturday. Come yeah, on now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, it'll get it uh, get it out of its system, move out of here. Like I said, it looks pretty clear back to the west. Yeah. Um, you know, coming up from southern West Washington, Camelsburg area. Uh, that area looks clear, even though they had called for some pop-up showers up there. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will move on here in the next uh, uh, 20, 30 minutes, and we'll get back to uh, back to football action here. But uh, Coach Akers, uh, the professor, looking at some things. He's going to play some things here on the live stream for you. We'll try to to do uh, and that, that, what we can with We have with a variety audio. of stuff. We have some students that are creating some great content Yes, uh, here at West Washington. It's very fun. You know, I, I'm able to still coach Lowry and get him for a couple minutes. And I got some I got some great plans I'd like to do with some of these kids as we go through the season. It's just one of those fun things we talk about each year and uh, getting to uh, get to know them and uh, see what we have. And uh, uh, the last game, last year's game was an epic one. That was for sure, Bubba. We sat there. Yes. And, uh, it was. Uh, it was. Game. It was a beautiful, probably one of the most gorgeous nights we ever had for football, too. Mm, beautiful. Um, there were some there. pictures that circulated around that should have been award-winning for um, what they had. And, uh, very, very, very good uh, atmosphere there last year as we got that game, and uh, that really was the that was the point last year. Like I said, in this, it was a point in our season last year when we got to that game that said, "Hey, there's something here out of this team," because we didn't really know the year before we were so growing and we were coming off of two really good back-to-back -back teams. 
So um, right, yeah, and I, you know, I really thought too that kind of turned the corner for us. And then you know we had a couple, you know, letdowns ran into the the, the meat of our schedule, I like to call it, you know, with with Paoli and Perry and and those teams down the road. But you know, I think you know looking at our schedule now, you know, that th this team could go, um, you know, and start the season, you know. 4-0 and, and, and then go into week five at Paoli and see what happens. Bubba, there's but wet stuff falling here from the comes. sky. Here comes. Yeah, it's, it's coming it's, down now. It's it's not the air. <laughs> it's coming down right here on us. So we're seeing this as, as the Clarksville. Man, it is pouring. I mean, we we have now moved to central Florida is what I've uh, Yeah, it's kind of the reminder of that because that's kind of the way it hits. But uh, I better be able to go to, to come down I, now. I should be able to go to Holiday World and see Mickey Mouse if I'm going to have to put up this weather. So as Yeah. Long as I say, so. <laughs> Yeah, so but it doesn't look like it's going to yeah. last a long period of time. I mean, like I said, it looks like back to the west, it's pretty clear uh, back in that area. So hopefully, it'll move out of here and we can uh, we can uh, get this game uh, back underway after the opening kickoff. So it didn't get much in as far as anything from scrimmage, yeah. but but we did uh, you know did get the kickoff there and. You know, hopefully this will pass through. and That Bermuda grass is just going to go right it's through. It's going to drain right through. It's almost almost like field turf, really. <laughs> it's, it's real close. But uh, you know, so hopefully uh, – We'll be, like I said, on our rain delay programming. I love this. we got some rain delay programming. Uh, um, I'm used to that. If, uh, my, my Cincinnati Red Legs, I love watching that. Uh, we'll have last year's game coming up here. And uh, so if you can uh, – if you're seeing this, you're like, what, they're playing at West Washington? No, no, no we're slash. not playing. It's – Repeat. <laughs> Repeat. That's and just thankful, though, that that, that uh, the professor's here tonight. If to, not, you would have gotten a lot. You would gotten a lot of commercials. We'd have been it. talking about a lot of stuff. We would have uh, went through, down here. We could have went through a lot. You know, um, really uh, starting to pound down now. We would have so. found Mr. Russell wherever he's at and interviewed him up here. And if we go too long on that, I tell you what, I'm going to make Darren Russell come up here and we'll interview <laughs> him. <laughs> he may not want to walk over here. He through may, the rain, he, oh, you know? he is on the other side. Oh yeah, my gosh, he's going to have to cover it over. Uh, hey, this is. I, I would love to try to play a game in this if you were uh, if I was playing, but I'm not. Well, you know, I remember uh, back uh, my senior year, and this has been a long time ago. A lot of you probably listening <laughs> weren't even born, but uh, 1983 we played a game at Salem against Scottsburg that was in a just a torrential downpour about like this right here the whole entire game. And, I mean, at the end of the game, you couldn't even read the jerseys. You know, the numbers were just gone. It, everybody was covered in mud. It was – it was the craziest thing ever. It was a fun game to play in. Uh, didn't have any lightning. It was just pure rain. I mean, it was like a monsoon. No, no, so. no leather helmets, right? No. Well, they were close. Single they, bar. They were a single bar. Okay. Yeah, and they were very hard on your head. Of course, we all had hard I, heads anyway. I, but uh, I'm not going to say that because you mentioned Scottsburg. Scottsburg playing football because my whole life they didn't. That play. was the last year they had football until they re. Started back you, here a couple of years back, what about six, about six, seven years ago when they restarted. But uh, that's bonkers. Yeah, that was the last year that they had it. They they didn't have it after that, and then they brought it back. So, um, so we're going to. My gonna wife go. just texts me. She goes, "Was your wife born yet?" <laughs> you know, so I, I get was one that year old, Bubba. I wasn't going to tell you. I, I was know. one. That's all right. You know, Coach Akers probably wasn't born yet. See, he's, he wasn't he's a young pup. Had, had, had the U even won a national championship yet? There, they hadn't. Yeah. Schnell, Schnellenberger <laughs> was Schnellenberger was off. 1983, boys. Yeah, I had the uh, the poofy hair, and <laughs> you know, it's just that, that's just the way it was. But uh, good times there, and you know, that's one thing that you know we don't talk about that a whole lot with football. But I know teams and coaches like to talk about it. You know how. You know, the camaraderie, what football builds. And, you know, you're friends with those guys yeah. for the rest of your life. It, it doesn't matter. It, I still talk to a lot of guys. And one guy that I did want to mention tonight, and I was going to do this a little later in the broadcast, but I do want to mention uh, Coach Brian Motzinger from Salem. Yeah. Uh, you know, suffered a stroke here back before the season started a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know, he's in the hospital uh, down in Louisville. And, you know, he's doing doing well, doing a lot better. Still got some obstacles to overcome, but, uh, you know, Brian was uh, a senior when I was a freshman and uh, kind of took me under his wing. I spent some time at his house when I was younger because my brother and him were in the same class and, uh, you know, just a, a class guy there, and we wish him the best uh, well, there in his recovery. You bring that up because, you know, you may be in different classes when you're in high school, but really in life you're going to be – 
you know, you're, you're going to be members of society together as you get out of there and how you treat people and, you know, the grace that they show them or, you know, the, you know, the time that they take in you, I mean, is, is so key, you know, and that's something that I, I see with our program. I know is when you're, when yes, you're, when you, you know, that's what you had. You had those friends for life. Those are the guys you pick up. You may not talk to them for t 20 years right. and you pick right back up where you left you off. Start over. Yeah. It's just, and, and you know, the thing of it is, I think uh, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of your life is is revolves around what you've learned here on the football field and you know i think those are things for young kids it's hard to understand that while you're playing but you know three or four years i've had kids come up to me that i coached over the years and that they'll come up and say you know hey you were right about that you know these these are the things that i'm still talking about five six years ten years twenty thirty years down the road and, um, you know, those are just the things that you remember. And, uh, you know, football is one of those games that, that, that gives that to you. There's a lot of life lessons, a lot of um, memories made, a lot of friends made. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just a you, huge part of it. You brought up a point. You probably remember more of the stuff off the field sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can I, tell I, some I, stories there, too, yeah, but I probably yeah. won't go that's there. That's all right. <laughs> I, went, I went through a 4-16 season my senior year of baseball, and I think we remembered more of what we did off the field than on the field. So it's Yeah, right. it, it's good and bad, but it's a lot like life. You know, there's peaks, yeah. there's valleys, and it's how you handle those peaks and valleys. And that's, yeah. you know, when I was coaching, that, that was one thing that I always told kids, you know, Hey, there's going to be times when you get knocked down, but the key is whether you get back up or not. Yeah. You know, you, you can't let uh, one play. That That's the great thing about football. You can have a bad play the play before and then have your best play the next play. So, you know, that that's what it teaches you, and that's what it does for young kids, and it, it gives them a lot of life experiences, and I think that's uh, – th those are the, the things that, uh, you know, a lot of people don't uh, – don't think about with football, but it, it really does uh, do a lot for for the kids and, and, and their future. kind of sets a tone for things down the road in life. So. so we are going to our rain delay broadcast here of last year's game. We apologize for the announcers last year. Those guys didn't know what they were doing. So, uh, <laughs> we, were we there last um, year? I don't know, yeah, I guess we were, weren't uh, we? Were, yeah. <laughs> As we are, we are now in the middle of Hurricane uh, – I don't know which out here. It's ridiculous. This it's is calmed down a little, but it's still coming down pretty good. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, a lot of people just kind of. I look over on our sideline. There's a lot of people just sitting in it. You know, it's so hot today. I mean, I just wonder how many people didn't think to bring an umbrella. Well, you know, this guy I didn't. Too. I didn't yeah. either. So we're good. So we'll we'll go to this uh, highlights of this game. This was a great back and forth game last year. Experienced tenured coaching staff. Uh, We've got a lot of guys that this isn't their first rodeo, that, they, that they're battle-tested. They've, they've played in a lot of games and have a lot of experience in game management. Uh, two, uh, you know, we have, counting myself, we have nine varsity coaches. Uh, so we're really able to dig into specific responsibilities for coaches on Friday nights. You know, kind of a who sees what, who watches what type of deal, which makes those conversations a lot smoother um, as things are going down on Friday night, which makes the adjustments a lot cleaner and we're able to make those uh, at a quicker pace. Um, you know, we're also, uh, we use Huddle Sideline. Uh, so Huddle Sideline is, is an investment we have made, which basically is uh, we're getting live footage. Our coaching staff is getting live footage of the last play ran uh, as it's going down on Friday night. So we're able to view the film actually on the, on the field after that play occurs. Um, so you put all those things together, that's kind of how we operate and make our, our in-game adjustments. Well, that is all I have for this episode of Coach's Corner. This is week two. The Senators will take on the Clarksville Generals Friday night at 7 o'clock. Coach Lauer, I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and we will see you all next week. Thanks, Ty.
All right, back here live at Art Sanders Field as we're just about ready for the kickoff here. Heard from both both coaches here in our pregame. That so was perfect timing, Bubba, yeah, wasn't it? Was it was great timing as uh, Coach Akers, hey, he's the professor, and he, he, he knows what he's doing. And he set that up just perfectly, so we're ready. It looks like the generals will receive the ball here uh, to start the ball game, so senators will have to kick off to get this thing underway. It looks like Kent Chase will be doing the – kicking duties this evening for the Senators, so he's taken over that role as well. So I saw him filling water bottles for the game. So Man, he does it all. To go. So, I like that. Uh, I like that. Out of definitely a team that uh, you got to be careful on these special teams as well because, you know, well, they've got some speed, speed in the back, and they're going to drop back Morgan Capps, number two uh, by, back there, along with number four, Jaden Johnston. Uh, and also uh, number three, uh, Kayvon Mural, who will uh, try to return this kick for the Generals as Kenton Chase will put it in play. So we're underway here. Both teams with uh, one win, no losses on the year. So uh, this was, should be a battle. So we're ready for it here, and we'll get things underway here. Officials have set the teams, and we're ready to go here as soon as we get the whistle. So it's coming now, and Kenton will put it into play as he approaches the ball, kicks it. He's going to keep it on the ground, oh, it's and it bounces off the Clarksville player. He picks it up, number 15, uh, Kayshawn Williams, the junior uh, wideout for him, picks the ball up and was able to get it. It bounced off of him, so it's kind of dangerous, but he got it picked up. And, uh, I can't believe he tried to advance that, Bubba, because yeah. it went off his face mask, and then the other guy behind him, the next right. guy, did the right thing, yeah. fall on it. He, he started to fall on it, and Johnson took it away. Yeah. So, ball at the 33-yard line. So, that was designed. I'm sure the Senators yeah. don't want to kick it deep to those three speedsters in the back. So, here we go. Clarksville will start first and 10 at their own 33. They'll come out of the huddle and break the uh, – Come up to the line, and they'll set things. Cummings out of the backfield, shotgun formation. One guy behind him, that's Lamar. They'll give it to him right off the bat. He got stopped as he went off tackle to the right, but then uh, got hit at about the Thirty-five, so a couple yard pick up there for Lamar on the first carry, and a good job by the senator defense. Yeah, it looks like Ethan Roberts coming in there along with a whole host of other senators that were just uh, pushing it down the line there. That's what I was looking at, JG Cruiser. JG I figured that big, that big body there is uh, what we saw, and Kai Strother up the middle. There. And Dylan Keller doing a great job. We don't want to have our we don't want to have to have our linebackers making tackles. Oh, absolutely. Second down and eight here for the Generals. Cummings out of the shotgun. He'll turn, hand it off to Lamar. He'll come to the left this time. Gets tripped up, but not before he falls out close. a first down as he took it out to about the 43-yard line. So he's going to be just short. Favorable soft spot for the Senators there. And this is what I talked about. We can't give them third and short. we got to no. put them in third and long. And so they're real close here. Just third and inches for the Generals here on this first opening drive. So Lamar again with the carry that time, picking up seven yards. And... They're going to measure it. Maybe he got eight. So we're going to we're going to have the change brought out here. Bubba, well, maybe not. Yeah. Yep, he is going to bring him out. He's so. going to bring him out. But what are your thoughts there? We're seeing a lot. I mean, we're seeing our DBs give those those uh, wide receivers ten almost. 12 yards off the ball. Is that because you're thinking he's going to go to Lamar? I think they're probably run, you know, orientated first, and yeah. I think that's probably why Coach Gibson has got it designed that way. But, uh, you know, the thing with your DBs is they've got to be able to recover quick. Yes. As soon as they see that ball handed off, they got to come up because there's no sense in covering the uh, receiver at that point. So I think it's just short here, as we called it. So it'll be third down and in inches. Can of Coke there, short yep. of the first down. 
So that'll be the call. They'll set the chains back to the sideline on the far side here. So third and short for the Generals. And, you know, the thing is we hit Lamar there oh, yeah. right at the line, just didn't make a good tackle. And he was athletic enough to bounce off of it and get uh, seven yards on that carry. So we'll call it third and inches here and we got for another, the Generals. Yeah, we got another call coming in from the sidelines. They changed the call. Looks like coach, their head coach changing the call there because it originally had one in. Now he's coming up with another as they reset the chains finally. Our chain gang tonight over there, I believe that's uh, Mr. Rosenbaum, Mr. Walker, and uh, was the other Mr. Walker? Could be, yes. Third so. inch is here, so they'll break the huddle and come to the line. Cummings will bring him up. Lamar behind him in the backfield. And the Senator's looking for a stop here. Cummings will move under center and just a quarter sneak, and why not? He got enough for the first down. Uh, he got stuffed backwards, but he but, got it. his yeah. forward momentum brought him and got him about a yard and a half. So they're going to mark it at the 45 there, Bubba, which is. He was stopped, and you know, that's one where you, you know, that's the easiest play to call in football. I don't know about you. Well, you know. when you see that. To quarterback come up under center yeah. when they pretty much go out of shotgun most of the time, you know that that's probably coming. We did a pretty good. Job with it, we just didn't get you know get him stopped quick enough. So first and ten. Generals as they'll set and go again. Cummings will turn this time, hand it off to Lamar. He's got one guy to beat to the outside. Nice open field tackle there as the Senators. Come Wyatt across jo to make the hit. Wyatt Johnson was able to rat to wrangle him up, and then Dylan Keller came in to ring the bell to bring him down. Loss of two on the play that time by Lamar. And it's going to be interesting to see a good running back keeps his feet moving, Bubba. What happens when he? It's caught like that. Does he? Does his feet stop moving? That's what we're gonna have to see with Lamar. I've not watched much tape on him. I've only heard through stats and stuff. So we'll have to see how how he responds here. Second down and twelve now after the two yard loss. Cummings out of the gun. He'll drop back. Wants to throw this time. He hits his man out in the open flat. Makes the grab number two with the catch. And. He got enough for the first down. He's just short as he went down. Kevon Mural, the uh, receiver there, makes the grab. And it's just barely short again. So they're third and about uh, a yard or so for the uh, generals here. We go back to where we don't want to be, Bubba, yep. third and short. Yep, absolutely. So he picks up about uh, what we're going to give him. Uh, let's see here, about 11 yards on that reception. Snap will come, they'll hand it off, it'll go to Lamar, and he goes up the middle, got a first down as he crosses. is a 45 up to the 39, Hudson so a gain of six. A, Hudson Crest comes in and just lays a helmet right on his knee, and then uh, Lamar goes down. So another first down here for the Generals, and I tell you, 
this was what I was worried about. They're mm -hmm. they're very very good, and their line's done a good job up front. We haven't been that bad defensively. No. We just got to. Get there a little quicker. So Cummings will go out of the gun, first and ten. He'll take the snap, turn, hand it off. Lamar will go to the right-hand side, just off tackle, and got about uh, four yards on the carry. So he picks up uh, four more, and they continue to keep this drive going here. So it'll be about a second, and uh, looks like about six. Moved it down to the 35-yard line. So they're getting into uh, – Senator territory here as they uh, and Bubba, we brought up the defense not coming off real quick, but I think that's a good thing because you don't want to overshoot somebody right now. You can over pursue that speed, and that's yeah. one good thing. But we're going to have to get there a little quicker. Yeah. Second down and six now. Cummings out of the gun again. Lamar behind him takes a snap, wants to throw again. He'll throw it out here in the flat. Number three makes a grab. Great tackle though, as once again Wyatt Johnston comes across and lays the wood right at the 29-yard line. So a gain of about, uh, well, he got, what, about four more? Yeah, about four more there. Puts him at third and short, unfortunately. Again, thank you so much. I finally got a roster there. I apologize. I've been looking over Bubba's shoulders there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I had an extra one here. <laughs> oh, good. No problem is the generals are going to come up here. I think, look, he's going he's to be, I tell you what, that wide side of the field there with, with Lamar may be their play. Third and one here. Cummings out of the gun again. The snap will come here. They try to get – oh, they had a guy move off sides on the far side. The receiver, number two, Morgan Caps, stepped off sides, and that will be a false and, start. And that's where we want to be yep. now. So now this changes the whole perspective. Third and one, third and six now. So what do you think, think here, Bubba? Are they going to go with Lamar on the run, or are they going to try to go out to the flats there? Because he's got throws a pretty ball. These guys are possession receivers who can – I think they go back to Lamar on third down, especially where they're at on the field, because you got four down territory yep. here. You got twins to the right there. I mean, this is it's going to be coming that away. Cummings oh sets up shotgun formation again. Snap will come. They go to Lamar. He's going to take it off the right hand side, breaks a tackle, and gets pushed out of bounds. But got more than enough for the first down inside the 25 to the 20. Three yard line, so another first down. And that was the first time they were able to contain Wyatt Johnston. Don't know if it was a hold or not. They came through and kind of pushed him. And when they hooked him, then boom, that that C gap was wide open. He took it there. Ten yard pickup on that one. So the biggest game of the night for Lamar as he gets ten on that carry down to the twenty three yard line. First and ten generals. Senators need to get in the backfield and cause something here. Cummings out of the gun once again. Snap will come. Lamar will get the carry, and he almost, oh, he got tackled from behind. Good job there as uh, the Senators got across there. Ethan Roberts coming in to trip him up. And J.G. Cruz and White Johnson kind of like, hey, thanks for that gift. Yeah, so no gain on the play, and it'll bring up second down and 10. And this is the situation we got to put them in. We need another good stop here, make it third and long, make them throw the football. Like I said, though, they're in that position on the field where it's pretty much four-down territory. Coach Dwayne Nance told me Lamar's not a north-south runner. He's no. an east-west. He wants to get outside. No. He wants to, you know, speed kills, so you got to be ready for it. Second and ten, Cummings again takes a snap, fakes He's a handoff, rolls out, looks to throw. He's got a couple guys open. He throws it out there and just overthrows the intended receiver. That time number two, Morgan Caps, as it went over his uh, head there. We had good coverage there by – the Senators, it looked like number 20 back there for West Washington, Zach Stice at that corner position. So third and 10, this is what we talked about. Yep. This is where you got to get This is where they're stop. not comfortable. They're not comfortable right here. So, I mean, what we want to also do, Bubba, is we don't want to give up a big chunk of yards here because they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, yeah, you know they will. So they'll set up third and 10 at the 23-yard line. Cummings out of the gun once again. Lamar behind him. Snap will come. He wants to throw. Got a man open out in the flats. He hits him. Number four makes a grab. He stopped short of the first down as Stice comes up to make the tackle down at about the 15, 16-yard lines where they'll spot it. Yeah, good spot for us on that, so it gives them a little bit, but – we know that this is going to be this is going to be a run to Lamar here because they're not going to be kicking the field goal. Gain of about seven, so fourth and three now. And this would be a big stop here if they can uh, get the offense off the field. 
So they'll set up, and you know Lamar's probably getting a ball here. We got trips to the left here. Cummings sets up in the gun, fourth down and three. Snap will come here. It does. He turns, pitches it to Lamar. He tries to get to the outside. He's going to be able to, and he bulldogs a senator at about the – uh, 12 or 13 yard line, oh, real close. He not, he wow, he it's coming up short, Bubba. I I'm think a, it is short from where that spot I, is. I know. Now we're looking across. This yeah, is what's it's that hard is. To it's tell. hard to tell. We're in this, so we're going to have a measurement. If you look though, the ball spotted at about the 12, and if you look at the down marker on that side, first down, they're calling it. Yeah, yeah, he did get it. I mean, and it was it was a buy about a helmet there, and you know that's where we saw we need to be we need to anticipate that with three wide receivers over there to block a pitch to that side. That's you know some elementary football that we've got to just get through and hit that guy. It's hard to tell from here, but I probably would ask for a measurement there. Yeah, um, just because you know it's it's the far side of the field and. Chains on the other side. But anyway, center's got a reset first here. And 10 at the 12 yard line. Cummings out of the gun. Lamar will get the ball. He tries to go up the middle and gets hit. And not much of a gain there. He might have got a yard. North south, Bubba. North south. That's what we want him to have to do. Is go He'll north dance south. and, you know, try yeah. to make things happen. He's, he's always kind of been a shifty little runner now, like that. Now, here's something, too, Bubba. We talked about the longevity. Let's, let's earmark this drive, okay? Long those, drive. Long drive. Those linemen are going to have to be out there. Whether they score or not, they're going to turn around and play on offense. I saw a lot of quick scores last week against, against yeah. Scottsburg, well, correct? Scottsburg gave them great field position. Yeah. They turned it over five times, for yeah. God's sakes, right? Like and three times I think on their side of yep. the field. So Cummings on second down and nine Quick now. Quick slants here. Snap comes. Nope. They'll pitch to Lamar. Oh, he's going to pass he's it. He's going to pass throw it. it. And got it away just in time. And Stice with a good play. Yeah, went Jumps for the ball up and went to tap it away. Good job by Zach there. As he uh, Bubba, that's a great play for away. a lot of DBs because you see that and you think, hey, I'm going to go for the interception. He just put the hand up and it actually went over, I think, everybody. Trying to get it out there to Morgan Caps, which Caps is 6-1. Yeah. And so he went up for it, but the ball just a little overthrown by Lamar. So. Diced 5-10, so he yeah. had the ability to go up. Zach the top. went up, though. He, he was up there high. But, to but I think everybody that. read that, though. They read it real quick there, so um, – Third down and about nine now for the Generals at the 11 yard line. They got a big fullback in. I've not noticed him in much. Now he's in yeah, there. Yeah, 40 comes into the backfield. So Cummings will take the snap. They'll hand it oh. off to Lamar. He'll take it off the left hand side this time down to about the six. I'm surprised, Bubba. We almost didn't have them. It looked like somebody was off a little early for the Generals. They got away with it there. It's going to bring fourth and about four now for yep. the Generals. So he picks up five yards on the carry. And they got to get them stopped here. It's, yeah. This would be huge if they could uh, could get a big stop here and, and you know not let them score here in this first quarter. They've kept the ball almost the entire yeah. first quarter play. So 4:42 to go. No score here. Cummings with a strong set in the backfield. As they'll set up, the snap will come. They'll hand it off to Lamar. Oh! Great job. We got through there. Oh, yeah. And they got him down. Johnston comes through to make the stop. And they throw him for a loss of about uh, six or seven yards all the way back to the 14-yard line. So a good job there. Johnston has done a great job yeah. tackling. The, the center line bend but didn't break on that drive, allowing them to kind of – they, they uh, got it. We funneled the right guys to the right way. And they made plays. Yeah, loss of 11 on that. So the Senators take over on downs and dodge a bullet here in the first quarter. Clarksville now, moving the ball. but Now you take care of the we ball. we got to do it here yes. now and move the football. So we'll come out. Kenton Chase will go under center. Taking care of the ball, right? in the backfield. Yep. He'll set up now to take the snap on first and 10. He'll take it, turn, hands it off. The uh, big uh, fullback up the middle there as Roberts makes the carry. And no, that was Johnston actually. Johnston, yeah. yeah, 11 uh, with the carry. So Johnston picks up about two yards on that one. So it'll be second down and eight now for the Senators and right got, there at the 16 yard. You have line. to kind of come off that a big emotional play there, refocus oh, here, Bubba. And you defense gotta, made a great stop. Yeah, so now, now offense, you want to you don't want to go three and out here. You want to get a couple first downs. Absolutely. Eye in the backfield again as he'll go under center, sets a man in motion. Takes oh. a snap, fumbled it, and he had to fall oh, on it. Like so, Kenton uh, had to get down on that one as the ball uh, just to come out of there on him. So, it'll bring up a third and about nine as they lose a yard on that one. 
Yeah, the centers, this is not how the center wanted this drive to go because we don't want to be putting that deep in our end zone. No, you're going to give them the ball back in pretty good field position. So you need a big third conversion here. So we'll see what they do on third down. Can't uh, break the huddle. Uh, I definitely think, definitely think we might see uh, Chase having the option of running here. Eye in the backfield. They'll set up. Snap will come here on third down. It does. He turns. And he'll take off with it. Tries to go around the end. He's got some running room. Gets hit. Oh. And he went down. Yeah, right, about the, uh, the 16, 17 yard line. So got a couple yards out of it. But uh, that was kind of a high tackle there too. Can't yeah, I was kind of yeah, kind of down a little weird there. But he so, gains about three. But that's going to be short. Fourth and seven. You know, unfortunately, the Senators did not spend that much time on offense. So they're going to do that. You know, you hope that you. You know, can make Clarksville stay out there a while. So the punt will come here on fourth and seven at about the 15-yard line. Kenton also the punter here. So the snap will come. It's a good one. He'll get off the kick. Good kick as it goes deep to gotta Lamar. Got to get to Lamar. You got to get to Lamar. Yeah, he's a returner, so he takes it down the Clarksville sideline. Gets hit and goes down there. So Great good coverage. Job by Coverage there, number 70 up in there to make the uh, first hit. Lane, Lane Owens. Owens, yeah, right on the line. That's what you want to see. If that's the only play you get on the field, you want to make sure that you're out there making Absolutely. those tackles. Absolutely. First and ten generals. Grayson McCoy, the Swiss Army knife for the Senators, also out there just making plays. Still in Senator territory, so Clarksville will take over at the West Washington 44-yard line, first and ten. And we're down to 222 to go here in the first quarter already. Zach Stice down on the sideline there for the centers. He's played really well at defensive back. I'd have a little cramp or something, hopefully not, but it's hot. So that could be the case. But yeah, he played real good over there at corner. They bring Titan Williams in out there at that corner on the far side now. And we're gonna have a timeout by Clarksville here. So we'll take one as well, listen to one of our fine sponsors, and we'll be back here. On your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. You're at American Family Insurance, located in Bedford, Indiana. We help our customers all over the state of Indiana by having customizable insurance policies to fit their needs. Whether it is insurance for your car, home, or business, we've got you covered. With licenses in Ohio and Florida as well, we can insure your vacation or rental home. You can also sign up for our discount driving program called Know Your Drive and save up to 10% with the potential to save up to 20% off auto insurance premiums. And let's not forget about your life as life insurance is the most important policy we offer. Contact Michael Long at mlong at amfam.com or call 812-578-3072. Again, that's 812-578-3072. Michael Long Agency with American Family Insurance. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. All right, back here live at Art Sanders Field. 2.22 to go here in this first quarter of play, and the Senators have to punt it away to Clarksville, so that'll give the Generals the ball back in Senator territory at the 44-yard line. So the defense will have to come back on the field here for West Washington, and Clarksville will keep their potent offense out there on the field now. So they'll set up. Here. You think Clarksville took that timeout just to give their own guys I a breather? I think they did. First and ten, as Cummings will go out of the gun again. Lamar behind him. Two receivers here to the near side. Snap will come. He wants to throw here, and he's going to throw it out here. Threw it a little wide. Oh, he made a great catch. If they say he caught it. Yeah, I guess he did. Wow. Mural there on the end. good signal, but uh, number three came on Mural with that catch, and it's good for about a seven-yard pick. Well, that's what I – and you bring that up because I noticed the side judge, I never saw the double fist. No, to, usually to, they say, you know, they'll signal that. Which that was a great – that was a perfectly thrown ball because that's the only guy who's going to catch it in the only area that he probably could have caught that because another three yards back, that's a pick six. Absolutely. Second down and three now at the 38-yard line. So they'll set up trips on the far side this time. Cummings out of the gun again. This will be a pitch will come. They'll go to Lamar. He tries to go around. We over pursue and miss a tackle there. Oh. J.G. Cruz finally getting a hold of him. Bradley Hampton coming in there. Yep. Kind of got him low. J.G. got him high. So they're I'll making him earn those yards. Kai Strother was there first and just missed him. He had him for a sack and um, just, just couldn't get him down there. He just over pursued a little bit. So a gain of one 
by Lamar on that one. It'll be third down and two. Now. And that's what we talked about, Bubba. You go that extra pursuit, and sometimes it does. It, it does backfire on you. But when we get our timing right, because, you know, yeah. that's something we'll see. We didn't see the speed last week. We're still playing a little catch-up. It's going to come. Absolutely. Third and two now for the Generals. Big third down play here. Yep. As they'll go out of the gun again, Cummings will take the snap, hands it off to Lamar. He'll come here to the Hampton. left. And Hampton there again yeah. with Johnston. So another great play there is Bradley getting some pressure up in there and, and makes a stop, a loss of about uh, two yards on the carry. Well, you know, thankfully, probably for Lamar, his he, that actually happened because his lead blocker lost his shoe and was trying to yeah. tie it during the play. So you never know, man. You go to the next level and your guy's not there, you get creamed. Fourth and three now, so another big fourth down here for the Senator defense. Cummings out of the gun again. Snap will come. He wants to throw this time. Drops back, throws it out there. He's got a guy in the flat. Made the grab. Number two caps again for the first down as he gets enough and catches it right there at about the 32-yard line. So a gain of about six. And they uh, keep the chains moving here, so. Caps uh, with another catch. Yeah, he's been – they've been going up tall. I mean, and, you know, that's something we're not going to see is a lot of deep down the field. We'll take it here. We're a fourth of the way through, and we got a tie ball game, 0-0. Into the first quarter here at West Washington. No score, so we'll take a break. Come back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-849. 2670. That's 812 849 2670. All right, back here live at Art Sanders Field. Second quarter will begin here as uh, both teams take a little break here in between quarters. No score. And it's been pretty much all Clarksville on the offense. I mean, the Senators only ran three plays yep. of offense so far. For about zero yards, yeah, I think. Whereas Clarksville has run 22. Now, you brought up a stat, Bubba, when we were off the air about Caleb Cummings, what he's done so far in this yeah, game. Yeah, he, he's six of seven at this point in the game. So, he's throwing the ball really well, using those big receivers to the outside. Our secondary guys have got to notice that and come up. And you don't want to over-pursue him because they're a little taller uh, than, than our guys in the secondary. But we got to get up there a little quicker and make the uh, tackle right when the ball gets there, and we're, we haven't done that. So we'll see right now when we talk about conditioning. Can the Senators get through this Clarksville line, meet Lamar in the backfield? First and ten, Cummings with the snap, looks, wants to throw. He's got a guy down the middle, and he just overthrew him as he wow. tried to get it down there to Jaden Johnston. And Jackson he Cameron can't on the catch coverage. It. So incomplete pass there. That'll and we just talked about that. We, not, we didn't want stuff going vertical. I don't like it because that's something I see. We don't see a lot in high school football, you know, but uh, that is that was right there. I mean, oh, my gosh, that ball just. Yeah, and Johnson, he had about two steps on Jackson Cameron there. So Jackson's got to get back there a little bit quicker. Not bad coverage. He just uh, let him get behind him. You can't do that because if the ball would have been there, he would have caught it for a big, TV. big play here. We have to stop them right here and give a huge long third down. Power situation here as they bring in the fullback. Now they'll hand it off to Lamar. He'll try to go in the center. And he's still getting a lot of yards, Bubba. That's the yeah. problem. Got about three or four there is uh, 78 for the uh, Senators. J.G. Cruz comes up to make the hit, and a gain that, of five. That's where you think about it. You put this team in a third and ten or a third and nine, that's a whole different different uh, play that they're going to call here. I like putting pressure on uh, Caleb Cummings, a senior quarterback. He's been through the ringer. You know, it's something that you got to think of. What can you do to stop this team? Is this team's uh, been successful in winning three games, I believe, the past three years? Which, if you look at Clarksville's history, that was a lot more than the past decade. Oh yeah, third down and five. Cummings out of the gun again. Sets a man in motion now. He'll take the snap, rolls out, wants to throw. Got pressure coming now. And Bradley Hampton. Down. So a great job in the open field as Hampton comes up to make the hit. 
Loss of about five back to the original line of scrimmage at about the 33-yard line. So good job there by Hampton. I tell you what, Bradley better buy uh, Kai Strother, Strother there uh, yeah. at stake after this because he funneled him right to he him. made him run to the outside, kind of rainbowed. And All right, Cummings here we go. Didn't have the speed to outrun him. So fourth down and ten. I'd say we're going to get a pass here. Even though I think right, it's going to be a pass. Cummings out of the gun, heavy set in the backfield. They'll look. Throws, he tipped. Oh, it's a wobbler. No. And it's incomplete as Hudson Crest come out to get it. That ball got tipped right there, and uh, Ethan Roberts got through and got a hand on yeah. it. Yeah. That's so. one of those things Hudson doesn't have to worry about not making that interception because you're going to lose yardage on that. Turnover on downs. That is so. Here you go. So now, after, uh, you know, not doing real well on that, you know, spilling the plate. we got to move the ball offensively. Yeah. That's all there is to it. I mean, you can't give them three and out and put them yeah. back out there no. every time. And hopefully we're catching them now a little bit winded. I know. Because I, that's what you can hope for here. Lamar, all their their skill guys are out there on defense as well. So we'll set up here. Kenton Chase at the 32-yard line will go under center, eye in the backfield, as they'll set up with uh, Roberts and Hudson Crest as Kenton will go under to take the snap. He will on first down, turns, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, oh. gets the outside, and oh. though Lamar comes up to make the tackle as he is playing their safety position, and he's also the leading tackler on this team <laughs> as he comes across to make a great tackle. What a favorable spot that was, Bubba. Yeah, it was a good spot. Gain of about a yard there by Kenton. So uh, he picks up one, and it'll be second down and nine. Well, we talked about those big wide receivers. You know, they have – those are their defense. They're crunching them in on that end line scene. So, you, know, you stand tall. So it'll be interesting. I, I really think the centers might be able to do better up the middle. Got to get a blocker out in front yeah. if you're going to let Kenton uh, run the football. Yeah. So he'll go under center, second down and nine, eye in the backfield. He'll take the snap, turn, hands it off. Hudson crests the ball carrier, and Hudson goes off the right-hand side, kind of that veer run yep. uh, by the Senators out across the 25 to the 26. So a gain of about uh, two yards they'll give him. So. I tell you, Bubba, look at how many guys that Clarksville stacking in the box in there. I, I counted that they, they are merging down. They're trying to take away those inside gaps a lot. Penalty marker, I oh, think. It's going to yep. be against us. Yeah, they called a penalty. Yep. So. That's against the Senators, a holding penalty, I believe. And once again, Bubba, we're faced with now that'll be a second and yep. hold. Yep. I was wondering how you can hold on like a two-yard play. Well, but you, can. you get up inside there. And if you yep. don't, you got to keep your hands open. If you close your hands, you're, you're going to get that call every time, and I think that's what happened. So what would have been a two-yard pickup is now a 10-yard loss. Second down and 20 now for the Senators back at the 24-yard line. Kenton this time will go out of the gun. He'll take it, snap it, hand it off to Roberts. He'll go oh, to the right go. side. He's got and a he's big run. Go. He's down the sideline. Lamar catches him, but not before he makes a great run there. So he picks up 10, 20, 30 yards on the carry by Roberts as he takes it to the Clarksville 45. Do you think Clarksville might have thought we were throwing the ball that time? I think they thought so when they seen the gun. And Roberts with the 30-yard pickup, the biggest play of the night for West Washington offense. And right here, right here, the centers are trying to – Got a little momentum. Now here, look, Clarksville's not set. You hurry up and you get this. This is a big play here. Kenton under center, turns, hands it off. It'll go back to Roberts again. That positive yardage. And he'll take it off the left-hand side, that veer run again. Just diving across the uh, 30 or 45 to the 44, a gain of just a yard. But um, they they tried to snap it before they were set. Yeah, and I think Ethan's like, really? I just had to run 30 yards. Now you're going <laughs> to give it to me again. So the Senators with their first first down on that 30-yard pickup by Roberts. Now second down and nine here at the 44. So Kenton will go under center to take the snap. Eye in the backfield once Johnson, again. Johnson right there. Yeah, he's in the game now, so they'll take the snap here. He'll there turn, he hands it off. Wyatt Johnston, the ball carrier. He goes off the right-hand side, picks up about three mm -hmm. yards, so he takes it down to about the 40. Well, they moved it back. He got two yards. to the 42. 
So now, you know, you're in fourth down territory anyways, but you want to get some positive yardage on this play. Yeah, you got to get a third down conversion here and uh, keep this drive going here. So uh, 740, this first half has moved right, right along. along. Yeah. Haven't had – we only had one penalty and not much clock uh, stoppage is uh, – Teams kept it on the ground pretty much. Kenton under center. He'll take the snap here on third down. Pitch it. It'll go to Roberts. He'll try to take it off the right. And he goes off the right-hand side of the offense and picks up about two down to the 40-yard line. It's going to be fourth and five. It's going to be it's going to be fourth and five. So what can – I tell you what, some Bubba, we have not thrown a pass to a tight end all season so far. No, I haven't seen that much. So I'm just calling it here. I don't know who's it. Let's see, Pack. Wise, Let's set up uh, two receivers here to the near okay, side. Canton will go out of the gun. Yep, like possible so. drag route across the middle here. He'll take the snap here. It's a high one, but he pulls it down, rolls back once. Throw. He's got a guy open. Overthrows. He had Grayson McCoy open at about the 15-yard uh, line and couldn't get it to him. Incomplete pass. So it'll be. Uh, and I wonder turnover if, on down. Bubba, I wonder if that comes off of that snap. Just that little bit of timing gets messed up. You don't get a bad snap, and you think you got to hurry up and get it. He had a little more. Time than yeah. Him. Well, I think he, he, he knew that there was probably pressure coming, which there was, mm -hmm. but he had time. We picked up their blocks pretty well, but he just overthrew him just a little bit. So another turnover on downs. The Senators with only one first down here in this yeah. uh, first half of play so 640 far. left here in the first. Staff, Senators, and Generals, 0-0. Zero, zero. Generals back out there offensively. Cummings out of the gun. Snap will come. He turns, hands Stop. it off to Lamar. Delayed. Lamar takes it off the uh, – and he breaks he's the got, tackle. He's down the sideline. He'll probably he's score. He's going to get it. He's going to go. He's there. Touchdown, Clarksville. And I tell you what, that's where you see Lamar gets it, and then he needs that hesitation. The ball was kind of bumbled there. And he's going to rumble for, I believe, a 60-yard touchdown there. 60. Yard touchdown run with 6.30 to go here in the first half. The Generals get on the board first, and that's where Lamar can kill you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen it there. We talked about it in the pregame, and he's just a one-play wonder, and he takes it to, to the house. 60-yard run for the score, 6 to nothing, Generals here. And, uh, you know, I think our biggest problem right now is we've got to get our defense a break. You know, they're, they're bound to be getting tired a little bit. They'll line up to kick it here for the PAT. Cummings to hold. Snap is good. The kick is away, and it's uh, good. Yep. So they put it a three. Number 10, the kicker, Ryan Bahina, the senior, uh, puts it through. So the PAT, good. And with 6.30 to go here in the first half, Clarksville 7, West Washington nothing. We'll take a break and come back here on your home for Senator Sports. WWSR and West Washington live stream. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets 
in our community more initiatively. All right, back here live, 6.40 to go in the first half. Clarksville gets a 60-yard touchdown run by Robert Lamar, and they lead it 7 to nothing here. It's been all Clarksville offensively here in yeah. the first half as Senators with only one first down. That was on a 30-yard run by Ethan Roberts. So we got to get our offense going here, give our defense a little bit of a break. Yeah, our offense needs a little shot of five-hour energy here to get us through the um, first half here. You Just know, they've haven't been found anything that works real good so far okay. other than that Ethan Roberts run. We might have a scrum kick or something here. they got a lot of speed on the side next to us here. Be aware of that. I think we might see, you know, you're on the road. You know, this team's not moving the ball well. Why not try it? Yep. Eric Ramirez will kick it away for the Generals as the Senators drop Hudson Crest back deep. So, Ramirez will approach it. And yep. He's going to onside it. It's not going to go 10 yards, so that's a penalty. See, and that's what – That's a break for that's us. That's a break for us. Puts us on the inside. But that is something they are anticipating. Yep. They've got the speed over there and – Yep, good call, Coach, as uh, you, you read it all the way. But, uh, well, Clarksville's defense don't want to be on the field. No, their they offense. don't want to be out there because their defense their defense, pretty sound. Yep. But, um, you I mean, know, they, they definitely want to put their, their offense out there for sure. So and, now the senders have to take care of the ball. We yep, talked about good that. Good field position at the uh, Clarksville 40. Oh, yeah, actually, they'll move it back. It, it'll go down to the five-yard penalty, so it'll move it inside the 40 wow. to the 30. That's because it didn't go the full. Because it went, went out of bounds and didn't go the full 10 yards. So, honestly, that guy may have been better to touch it then. Yeah, he probably would have been. Because then the he, five yards. He'd have been better off to smack it, and yeah. then they would have just spotted it uh, at the 45. So, nevertheless, it's first and 10 senators. we got to put some points on the board here. Kenton will go under center, eye in the backfield. He sets a man in motion in Johnston, and they'll turn, fake the handoff, wants to throw. He's got a guy across the middle. Titan Williams, oh, my. Right Had Titan there. there, and he just overthrew him. Ken wow. just a little long, but Titan's got to get up the field. Yeah, he's got to keep extending uh, yeah. that. That route has to be, I believe, post. He was yeah, on the post. If, if he would have ran more so at an angle and got towards the end zone, he would have caught that on the run and probably scored. Yeah, uh, Titan a big target out there. Good chance, though, or a good uh, opportunity, and why not try it? So I wonder if Ty's going to ask Coach about that on the next uh, – <laughs> I'm sure that will be one that he won't ask him about. God, I love Coach will say, why don't you run your route? <laughs> I in the backfield, once again, second down and ten. They'll turn, hand Oh, great play. Ken, go, Ken, Ken go. Kept it. He's going to take it towards the sideline of Clarksville. The but far side to the right. Puts us at a third and one, Bubba. Yep, takes it and picks up nine yards. Good fake there because everybody mm -hmm. bit – on Johnston, and that's what we did last week. Yes. We were really good in that deception, uh, you know, offense, in that option style, and Kenton done a good job there. He got eight yards. Eight, I thought it was nine, but they only give him eight. Oh, man, talk about that spot, Bubba. That's, yeah. Yeah, that one went had, against us. Which we're at an angle here, so you got it the crest of the field. and 31-yard uh, line or 30-and-a-half anyway, so third down and two now. Still manageable, fourth down territory. Oh, yeah. You're trying to get some positive yards here. I'm going to go Good with Robinson. Johnston Johnston up the middle. Yeah, probably could be. They're stacking the middle. They got eight guys in the box. They'll Outside of McCoy, he's going to throw oh, it. No, he was going to throw it, but he didn't. Now he's going to get hit for a loss. So he'll go down at about the 33-yard line, 34 they'll spot it. So now he lost uh, three yards on that. And I, and I think that all that starts from the receivers not being able to get off in clean on their routes. Yep. So Grayson sees that, and he kind of hesitates. Starts hesitates, loses his footing a little bit. Thankfully, didn't he just ate it, which is what you're right. supposed to do there rather than throw it up. So they'll uh, set up now fourth down and about four for the Senators. Pretty generous spot there. Inside the 35 at the 34. So Kenton. Oh, we got a timeout. Uh, timeout there was some. There was, there was something not right. If you noticed. Uh, well, if you look at Clarksville's defense, they're stacking the box yeah. up. They had they had eight guys in the box that last play, mm -hmm. uh, thinking that we were going to run the football. And you know, I, I'm at the point right here where, and I know Coach Lowry loves this play. I'd almost run that little pop pass. Yeah. As you mentioned to yep. the tight end, or you know, put McCoy or or. Uh, even Johnston out there and let them just run about a five yarder. We're not looking for a touchdown. No, we're, don't looking, have to score. we're looking for, and you're fi trying to find that that bread and butter between the defensive line and linebackers. You said yourself they got nine guys. They're, in the box. they're stacking so it up. There's so no there's nobody on that second level. If you if, can get somebody five yards deep, you know, pass behind the linebackers, yeah. and throw that little pop pass, 
I'm telling you, it's open. And we, we ran it quite a bit last year. Yes. I haven't seen it much this year. A lot of that has to do with the fact Personnel. that we've not going out of the gun. Yeah. You know, so you're running it under center. It's a little tougher look. But, uh, you know, Kenton very capable. And at I that, think at that that's point, you're almost a one, two, three pass, yeah. quick slants. And it's got to be something quick here, and uh, you know, especially if they go under center. So fourth down and four, the ball at the 34-yard line of Clarksville. The Senators left. trying to convert here. This would only be their second Ken's gonna first be out of, down. Ken's going to be out of the gun here. Okay, here we go, yep. So down. they're going out of the gun. They'll All right. set up back there. Holloway's in there Hudson at the left Chris. side. We'll set up there with him in the backfield along with Johnston. So the shotgun will come here to snap on fourth down. It comes to Kenton. He looks. Here He's comes. going to throw. He had a guy open back there. Now he floats it out there. You got it. Titan Williams with a great position. By Titan. Good job by Titan. He, he did the right thing. He's like, I've got to make the catch yep. first. Ran and that's a good okay. Route. And Titan's a big target. You know, when you yep. got Titan out there, you know, at 6'3", uh, yeah. you know, makes it a little easier to find him. And Kenton done a good job. Not rushing that play. You know, I think on the other throws, he's kind of rushed it a little bit. That one he didn't. It's good for a seven-yard pickup and a first down. You don't have to get it all in one play, Bubba. It's, the, it's not what you see in video games in the NFL. You can get a little bit at a time. So first and ten now for the, the again. Senators. Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off to Crest, and he mm. gets a hit right there yeah. in the backfield at yeah. the line of scrimmage. His, Might have got a yard, and yeah. that'll be the call. They'll move it down to about the 20. J.G. Cruz is taking on three guys, and one of them got yeah. through. So, 22-yard line, so a one-yard pickup by Hudson. And, and that's something we talked about in the ground game. Nine. The ground game really hasn't got to establish because they've packed it in so much. They're packing it. If you so, look. But you throw one, that. Two, you keep, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight guys. They're putting Lamar as the safety there now. They only got two guys out here, yep. and they're yep. playing Lamar up tight. Yep, he's up tight now. Look, he's going. He's trying to read which way. Here we go. It's going to be another pass right there. Nice. Titan Williams. Nope. Yeah, he's got him. Got Grayson. Nice Stay on your feet, Grayson. McCoy. He's going to score, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. Great throw there, man. Great play by Grayson as he kind of wheeled around, yeah. put his hand down on the ground, kept his footing, and got it into the end zone. So a great uh, catch and run there from the uh, about the 16-yard line for the score. So uh, nice play there by McCoy. And they're going to be going for two here. So we got Roberts here, uh, got Johnson. They're going to be out of the eye there, Bubba. So we'll set up here, eye in the backfield. Need three and yards. Go under center. So Kenton uh, with Roberts back in there. They'll take it, turn, hand it off to Ethan. He, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. No. Their guy. In. How did he not? Well, he got he got hit actually right at the line of scrimmage wow. and couldn't get it across, trying to follow J.G. Cruz. Oh, he's down, line. unfortunately. And like let's hope that it, not. Ethan's not hurt too bad, but he's the one that's down. Yeah. He so got we'll it. see what the, what's, uh, the deal is with him. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back here on your home for Senator Sports, WWSR and West Washington Livestream. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, back here live at Art Sanders Field. 4.13 to go in the first half. Senators getting their first points of the night on a 16-yard uh, touchdown reception to uh, Grayson McCoy from Kenton Chase. I think and he ran about 40 yards on that, though. Well, he, he had to wheel out of it kind of, but he done a, a great job getting the ball into the end zone. And uh, the Senators pull within one here, 7-6. to six. Our score, Clarksville on top here with 4.13 to go here in this uh, first half of play. Kenton will set up. He's done everything tonight. Kicked, <laughs> punted, thrown, run. Filled up water bottles. I think he was yeah. drilling ribeyes before the game. Hadn't played any defense. That's yeah. about the only thing. But our defense has been out there a long time, so he should be well rested. <laughs> so we'll set up here as Kenton will put the ball back in play as they'll kick off to the Generals. They have two guys back there deep. And he'll set up to put it back into play. 
Officials will set it, and here we go. Whistle comes, and he'll approach the ball. Gets it away. It's a line drive kick. Going to go back into the secondary. Be picked up that guy. Number four, Jaden Johnston, will pick it up. A good coverage by the Senators. We had about three or four guys there. Number 70, the first one back there once again, Lane Owens. He's done a great job on special teams. He has. He was there. He would, he didn't know. He forgot he was on the play before that. <laughs> and he's made two tackles. So first and 10 as they stop him back there at about the 28-yard line. Bubba, there's no greater position. I'm probably long snapper if you're good at it. But you tell me I get to play on special teams, get to yeah, right, hit somebody, and then I get to take a break for you know a while. Oh, yeah. That, I, would, I would kill to get to do that. I tell my kids that's, that's probably one of the lost arts, you know, a special teams player. You – you can, uh, you can make a name for yourself doing that. And a lot of those guys play a long time when they go to the next level. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a great great way to be. So, Clarksville will come back out first and ten. Cummings out of the gun once again. Snap will come. He'll hand it off. Lamar will go to the left and Bradley gets Hampton tackled from behind by Hampton, but not before he picks up about six yards on the carries. He brings it up to the 35-yard line. You know, Caden yeah, Clooney's a name. Five. Caden Clooney's a name we haven't got to say a lot tonight, but he has really pushed a lot when he's came in there, helping to give breathers for guys. And uh, also, we see Ethan Roberts out there on defense, which is a good sign there. Well, Ethan's got, probably, yeah. I thought last year was probably our best defensive player. Uh, you know, made a lot of tackles, but he's having to go both ways makes it tough. But um, yeah, they they're going to have to get him some rest. But second down and five after that carry. Cummings will set up out of the gun. Lamar behind him. Snap will come. He's going to roll out and throw it. He's got a guy open, makes a grab, and a good What a tackle. tackle. Nice tackle in the open field there by Hudson Craig. With one arm, Bubba. One yep. arm. He got him and uh, pulled him down. So, got maybe a yard out to about the 37-yard uh, line. Actually, give him two. So, catch made there by Caps. Good for about a two-yard – well, they give him three after the spot. So, second – third down and two now as Cummings will set up here at the 37-yard line. I think we'll see Lamar off tackle here. Snap will nope. come. He wow, drops good. back. Lamar just standing there. Oh, my. Somebody get back here. Oh, yeah, got somebody get him. get him. And he throws it to Lamar. Lamar. He makes a grab. He could go to the house here, but – Nice that's open field tackle by Hudson again. And he got the first down, though, as he that's picks the up worst about thing. 10 yards. Out. That was not designed. It turned out to be a screen. I mean, yeah. But uh, it was not Lam designed for that. I'm telling you what, Lamar's just standing. He's tired. He's tired. He's just standing back there. Well, you would too if you ran the ball 50 times, oh, like yeah, he said yeah. to already. But still, you yeah. you got to recognize. Yeah. that if you're the center yeah. of defense. Yeah, you see a guy. You got to know where 23 is on yep. the field. And you also got to read his body language because yep. I'm willing to bet if you read a guy's body language, you know from that, hey, is he – does he look like he's collected himself or is he just like ready to go? What is the problem? Okay, they're bringing him in some – so they'll set up here. He brought some help in to block in the backfield. Got some First motion over 10. there. It's going to be Lamar. Hand it off Lamar. He'll Stop. try to go in the Knock middle. him down. Knock him down. Didn't get much there. He's winded. And he'll go down after about a yard pickup. Lamar can't wait for the Salem Sports Cards scoreboard because that means we're at halftime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So one-yard pickup by Lamar, second down and nine, right at the 49-yard line of Clarksville. And... Yeah, they're all winded. He's been over. Got his hands on yes. his knees. He's, you need to read that. You need to read that if you're defense. Yeah, he's had enough. And you know what? The guys in front of him are tired, yep, Bubba. That's they're the tired, big, too. So that's the bigger thing. we got to get penetration yes. here and make some sacks and get back in the backfield. Because we look up. fresh. We look good to be out there as long as we can. They and there's moved. Gonna be, they there. moved. Yep. They moved. That
<laughs> movement on them. I, I guess he had the wrong. Okay, he threw the wrong. He threw the bean. Yeah, they may have got a timeout. Oh. They might have got the timeout in quick. No flag. Flag. No flag. The line judge on yeah. the far side called the timeout. So timeout with 123 to go. We'll take a quick break and be back here. Clarksville 7, Senator 6. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. All right, back here live, Art Sanders Field. 123 to go here in the first half of play. Clarksville 7, West Washington 6. Second down and 9, the ball resting at the 49-yard line of Clarksville here as we're uh, late in this second quarter. And the Senators just trying to... Uh get Clarksville off the field here. Clarksville is winded. They they are all just uh, huffing and a puffing down there. This heat, you know, is probably taking a little bit of a toll with all of them going both ways as well. They'll come out uh, of that timeout and set up here. Extra blocker in there is number 40 comes in the backfield again, Max Gowan, and he'll set up there with Cummings. They'll set a man in motion. Snap will come. It's coming right over here Cummings in the flats. Coming to throw flats. it. There he's got a man. Oh, Grayson oh, McCoy! And McCoy oh. had it in his hands but couldn't pull it in. Oh. And the ball's incomplete there as they try to get it out. There again to number three, Kevon Mural. And it's incomplete. So Grayson almost picked that one off. But uh, nevertheless, knocked the ball down. Clock stops with 1.17 to go here in the first half. So third down and nine now for the Clarksville Generals as they'll set up there right at the 49-yard line. And they'll come to the line. Heavy set in the backfield once again with uh, Scowan back there as the extra blocker. Cummins will take the snap out of the gun, hand Lamar. it off to Lamar. He'll cut back up the middle, still on his feet, and close to first down. He's real close, he's but I reaching, think he's short. He's reaching, but that spot's going to be at about the 34-yard um, line there. So, Yeah, they'll spot it at the So he's a yard short. Picked up eight, almost two yards short. So pickup of seven there by Lamar. And it'll be fourth and two now with 50 seconds to go here in the first half. So they'll break the huddle, come to the line. They'll go back with that heavy set, scouting in the backfield along with Cummings and Lamar behind him. Snap will come out of the gun. Taking Fourth their down time. And, two, and now they switch sides with Scowen. They're going to run that way probably to the left. And nope, they'll run right ahead. He gets hit. And I don't think he got it as the Senator stopped him, I believe. Yep, they're going to stop him there as he got hit right away. Kai Struther.
the first one there, and he made the hit just short of the first down. Should be laying the wood there. Does about it? a yard short the way it looks from here. Now they're going to bring the chains out and measure this one. That one's not as close as the other one was. Well, we got to slow down the time. of the half here because you know we've had such a first you know fast first half we got to do something so so we'll see what they give Lamar there as Kai Strother makes a great defensive play yeah coach Lowry is in over here trying to trying to say how can you even measure that I don't that? think that's even close I don't think it is either is it's it's got to be a good half yard short well I'll talk to Mr. Rosenbaum Maybe he can help us take another link out that chain there. To Let's see. I think it's going to be short by about a nose of a football. Well, from here it looks m more than that, but may not be. Yeah, it's uh, more than yeah. that. Yeah, centers are going to stop. And half yard short. So Centers get the ball to start the second half. Are we getting a knee yep. here? Are we getting a knee? No, I don't think so. I think you – All right, back here live at uh, Clarksville High School in uh, – a little rain delay here, and uh, the decision, I think, has been made to move this game to tomorrow evening. It looks like 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, so the game didn't get started. We had to kick off, but uh, didn't get a, a play from scrimmage in. So officials, uh, school officials from both schools have uh, made the call, and it looks like we'll be back here tomorrow night at 7. Uh, to uh, to replay the game. Yeah, here. this so rounds of lightning that are kind of just popping up just north just of us here. Just kind of sad on us, too. And it's the heat. Know? And we've gotten more rain here than we have in the whole oh, month of August. Yes, absolutely. Right now. And it's uh, – thankfully, this Bermuda grass is held up, and it will dry out real well It'll for dry us. quick, yeah. And it's not puddled. It, you know, the rain's not the problem. It's the lightning, naturally. And – you know, so uh, so anyway. we'll be back tomorrow. Live stream will be back. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Akers, gonna you may just leave everything here yeah. set up if so they'll we, let you do let that. You do probably, that. So probably would. Uh, we do thank uh, the Clarksville uh, administration here, beautiful press box, and a uh, uh, great time. And we'll be back here tomorrow night, same bad channel, same bad time. Yep. Thanks for tuning in with us, and uh, appreciate uh, all our sponsors once again. We'll get more on from them uh, tomorrow evening as well. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in. So for Brad Mills, the Professor Craig Akers, this is Bubba Abbott. We say so long, and we'll send it, and we'll see you. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program,